Davening takeaway, Bekutei Torah, Bamidbar, Daf Tes Zion, the 16th Daf, 16th page. On this page, there is a number of references in Davening, all to come and support the mimer that is describing the concept of the Mali Kolomim, which is where the, the energy of Hashem, the light, comes in a way that's perceived and appreciated. And there's a number of references in Pesukah de Zimra, and one actually just after that, the Baruch Hu. But then in Pesukah de Zimra, there is, uh, a, you know, this is the world of Yitzira. This is the world of Midos, of emotions, of character traits. It's a level where we're describing and, and coming in touch with the diversity of Hashem's creation and how amazing that is. And then eventually we'll come to unify all of that. But in the meantime, there's a lot of references of how Hashem, he and himself, is separated infinitely from all this. And it comes, it, all that's created is through Hashem's malchus. And from there, that, that malchus is also infinite in the sense of creating infinite realms from above to below and all that's within. And so we see references of that, starting with the actual Baruch Shemar. It starts out by saying, um, that Hashem in, in himself is Yachid, he's singular, he's you know removed from everything, but the the life of the worlds, all the worlds, really comes from the level of Melech, of Malchus. And so we see that there's that, uh, not, there's, as it were, a disconnect. We're, we're appreciating the results, we're not appreciating where it comes from because the, the, but what it comes from is so far removed. We see other descriptions of the same thing in, in Ashrei. It says, <laughs> that you know, uh, Hashem is, is, um, is uh, amazingly great and, and praiseworthy, and his uh, greatness is uh, like without end. And we see a couple of Tehillim later. We say, <laughs> that, that Hashem's Tavuna, the level of Tavuna is a lower aspect of the idea of Bina in the Spheros, and it's one that's connected very much so to the Midos, below it. And so again, we have this connection with the Midos, the lower level, that the aspect of Hashem's Tavuna is also limitless. And so we're, we're describing how all these amazing things are going on and, and connecting with that while continually recognizing that Hashem is much be, uh, greater than that, way beyond that. And it continues on where we say um, in the second half of the Pesukah de Zimra, where it talks, um, it sort of shifts gears a little bit and starts um, working their way towards drawing godliness back into this world. And in there, <clears throat> excuse me, it says here, um, it says, Atahu Hashem levadecha, Ato Asisa, Esa Shemaim, Shemei Hashemaim, etc. That you, Hashem, meaning recognizing Hashem is who Hashem is. You are Hashem, Levadecha, by yourself. You're, you're all by yourself, far removed from, from whatever's going on. Recognizing that kind of level in Hashem, you made the heavens, you made all the things within it, again, through the, the level of Malchus. The, um, but it, we're recognizing a difference between Hashem as he is unit, a, a single unity, and then that which comes out of Hashem, and Hashem brings everything into being where he is removed from that. However, we say right after that, we say, Atahu Hashem HaElohim, Hashem Bokhartov Avram, etc. That right after that, we say that you, Hashem, you are Hashem, our God, HaElohim. And as we've said in the previous um Davening takeaways, when you say Havaya Elokim, just like we say Baruch Hata Hashem Elokeinu, that when we talk about Hashem as the same as Elokim, the same as the life force that's in the worlds, that we're recognizing that beyond world that's really involved, even though it may be hidden, but it's still there. And that's our driving force. That's what but we live by, we function by that higher level of, of Hashem, the UK of K, as it is in Elokim. And we recognize that and live with that. And when we talk about that, now, we're talking about taking that, and it's a process now of bringing that Havaya, that Yud Kevavke, now into a revel, revealed state with Mashiach. And as we know from the famous Maimur Vasei Lagani, there are the seven shepherds that draw down the Shekhinah from, from the highest Rikia all the way down here in this world to bring the Gula 
starts with Avraham and then works its way down to Moshe. And so the Pesuk de Zimra, without going through all the details, starts out with Avraham. It starts with Avraham, actually, and talks about how he is above all, you know, the world's actually above this, the six Midos, it describes, of the, of the nations and the, the Canaanite nations. And then from there, we jump quickly into that last phase with Moshe Rabbeinu bringing the Shekhinah down here, which is related to um, Yitzhiya Susraim and the Kriyash Yamsuf, revealing that, which ultimately then will bring, you know, the reveal, you know, the, the godliness down, the dear to here in this world. And so we see now there's a process of trying to draw that, be, that beyondness of Hashem into a reality. Uh, as soon as we finish Baruch Hu, we say, um, right at the beginning, we say, Kulam B'chachma Asisa. Again, recognizing we haven't quite got there yet. We're working on it. We're sort of re redoing our praise of Hashem as we did in Pesuk and Zimra, now with a different, different outlook. And so we restate that um, Hashem through Chachma, Chachma is a very, very high sublime level, the first sphere, the idea of even being bit, um, bitul to the Ainsof, nevertheless, that level is so far removed from Hashem's essence that it's, as it were, Asiya, as, as it were, you know, an action compared to Hashem. And so Chachma is that kind of level. Again, Hashem is so far removed. Leading, of course, then later to the Kriyashma, which we then try to unite ourselves with Hashem. And so uh, th th these are things to be uh, focusing on, you know, stages in our his bonus in order to reach that level of, you know, the Messias Nefesh for um, the oneness of Hashem and, and bringing that revelation in.